These two lines of text are identical, except for the quote marks and the apostrophes. In the top one, you can see that there are straight quote marks and an apostrophe, and in the bottom, the quotes are curly quotes, or what we refer to as typographer quotes. Now we call them typographer's quotes because the type designer has designed them this way, and they just look a little more elegant than the straight quotes and apostrophes. If you want to use typographer's quotes in all of your text, you can do that in the document setup. So I'm going to go up to the file menu to document setup, and down here in the bottom under type options, you can see that I can use typographer's quotes. I can also choose what kind of quotes to use. So right now I have double quotes, but I could also choose from a variety of quotes. For example, I'll choose these angled brackets. And now when I type, even though I'm typing the same character on my keyboard, I get these brackets instead. So you can tell Illustrator to use any one of those sets of quote marks and apostrophes. I'm going to go back up to the document setup and change that back to the regular curly quotes. Now if I have some text already typed that I want to change to curly quotes, I can do that under the Type menu under Smart Punctuation. The Smart Punctuation dialog box allows you to replace punctuation in your document. So for example, there are standard ligatures and some non-standard ones. You can also have Illustrator replace a double N dash with a single M dash. Or if you've received your text from someone else and they've typed three periods instead of an ellipse character, you can have Illustrator replace that. And you can use smart spaces. So a lot of old school typists are accustomed to typing a period and then an extra space. So you can have Illustrator go in and automatically replace that with a period followed by a single space. I'm going to turn on Smart Quotes, and then I'll tell Illustrator to replace it in the selected text only, and give me the report of the results. And you can see that three changes have been made in the selected text. Now there are times when you're using typographer's quotes when you actually want the straight quotes, for example, in a number, like 5 feet 7 inches. And in this case, rather than going back to the document setup, or up to the Smart Punctuation dialog box, you can just use the Glyphs panel. So I'll select this double quote and replace it with the straight quotes in the Glyphs panel, and I'll select the single one and scroll down and find its corresponding glyph. So normally you want to use typographer's quotes, but sometimes you don't, and in that case you can use the Glyphs panel. In the next video, we'll see what to do with legacy text, that is text that was created in an earlier version of Illustrator.